It is 12 o'clock. It is the fourth day of December. I am your grumpy guide to all things gaming, and it is once again time for another OG GM food adventure where I eat it so you don't have to. We've now recovered from the previous OG GM food adventure, which was the Little Caesar Cheeser Cheeser. We are continuing our theme of grilled cheese food. Today we are checking out the two grilled cheese options that Taco Bell has recently added to their menu. Now, I used to be a huge Taco Bell fan, but obviously over the years, the quality has changed and gotten down and down and down. I have gotten older and my ability to eat this crap is not what it once was. And quite frankly, the Taco Bell here in Ventura is considered one of the worst Taco Bells in all of California. So I don't know what to expect. But Taco Bell has been advertising for about a couple months now these grilled cheese products. We have the grilled toasted cheddar chalupa, which is a chalupa that supposedly has grilled five-month-age grilled cheese on the outside. And we have the grilled cheese burrito, which is a burrito that has a layer of grilled cheese on the outside. Because grilled cheese seems to be the thing. I mean, we had grilled cheese from Little Caesars. We have grilled cheese from Taco Bell. And when we do our next one in a couple days, I have a feeling whatever we do, I'm going to find something that's grilled cheese. So this is the grilled cheese, cheddar cheese chalupa. It's got, you know, Taco Bell level ingredients. And there's that cheesy whatever they're talking about. It looks a lot like the stuff that was on the Little Caesars. So here it goes, as, as is. I see some sour cream. I see some lettuce. I see some shredded cheese. I see a couple tomatoes. I think there's beef in here. Hmm, got a crunch. Sweet. That's part of the sour cream. Okay, let's just try and get this 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 um shell here that's supposedly grilled cheese. Yeah, no, I don't taste anything. It's just uh, too much lettuce, not enough cheese, typical Taco Bell level ground beef or whatever this is. It has no kick, no spice, no nothing going for it other than the crunch. Now let's try the grilled cheese burrito which comes in news wrap. Ooh, look at that grease. Look at that grease. Oh, it just how it shines. I guess that's supposed to be the grilled cheese. Is the vaguely cheese flavored grease. It kind of just looks sort of like wax paper, but I guess that's the grilled cheese. It's crunchy. I'm not sure it's supposed to be crunchy, but it's crunchy. It's got a bit of a kick. It's warmer than the other one. It has slightly more flavor. Support me, Coke! Sponsor me, I will sell out. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of nothing. I mean, it's, it's Taco Bell. So it's warm, it's filling, it'll probably make me sick. It has very little kick. I don't really taste anything. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, you wanna taste something with Mexican food. And since Taco Bell is, you know, the worst Mexican food there is, you at least want that level of, you know, comfort and warm, crunchy, juicy, cheesy goodness that all that's all that Taco Bell has to offer, you know, dollar menu burritos. So these are both pretty disappointing. On a scale of 1 to 20, 20 being a natural 20, 1 being an utter fail, 
I'll give these a five because they're Taco Bell quality, which is pretty much what I expected. They're not awful. I'm sure if I put type of two on them, they'll be better. I don't feel sick yet, which is good. Um, the crunch on the uh, grilled cheese chalupa is an interesting addition. Um, other than that, yeah, too much lettuce. This just I don't I don't understand. I mean, it's just a flat burrito. I guess this is cheese. It looks more like wax paper, and. It's just sort of taste. Oh, there's ri there's rice in here. Maybe that's what's crunchy. Undercooked rice. Yeah, this is just utter fail. So I give it a five. Uh, if you appreciate this content and want to see more of me sacrificing myself eating crap so you don't have to, comment down below. If this is not content you would enjoy and you think I should just eat, leave my eating to myself, comment down below. If you don't comment, I don't know what you want. And going forward in 2021, you need to let me know or I'm just going to keep doing whatever I want. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please consider subscribing. Help me hit 250 subs by the end of the year. And if you're feeling generous, please donate to the OG GM Adventures through the PayPal. Any money I make this month through the PayPal will go directly to the Yogcast Jingle Jam Primetime Sports Camp and uh, COVID-19. I won't be keeping any money for myself. Thank you very much. I will talk to you later while I finish this mediocre lunch. Definitely a disappointment.